Al-Qamar radiallahu anhu, a sahabi, is on his deathbed. He sends his wife to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam company and says, she says, my husband is breathing, he's last, he needs your assistance. Around the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was Ali radiallahu anhu, Ammar radiallahu anhu, Salman radiallahu anhu, Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Four great sahaba. And what happened was that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent, sent them and said, see the situation and come back and tell me what's up. They go, they see that he's on his deathbed and he's not able to even pronounce the kalima at the time of dying. And it mentions in regard to him, al it mentions, it, it mentions that he was shadeed al ijtihad. He was someone that used to exert himself beyond imaginable in when it came to worshipping and obeying Allah. He used to do so much ibadah. And he used to spend so much as well, he would not know the weight of what he was spending and how much he was spending. Yani he used to spend so much that he wouldn't even know how much he's spending. Imagine the ibadah. Hum, what, we're not doing anything to start off with. And these are people that were doing and despite that, watch what happens. So four sahaba are around him, they're saying to him, read the kalima, they're making the talqeen, encouraging to read, but he can't read. So then what happens is, is that Ali, Ammar, Salman sent Bilal to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, inform him, this is the situation. We are afraid that if he breathes his last, he will not die on the deen of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's a very urgent matter, please come. So when Bilal radiallahu anhu went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, obviously he had other people around him at that time as well. He said, okay, quickly go and fetch his mum. If she can't, meaning the mother of al qama if she can't, I'll happily go to her and I need to ask her a few things. Quickly get her. It must have been at a short distance, otherwise the Prophet would not have inconvenienced her. So anyway, what happened is that Bilal radiallahu anhu went to the mother of al qama and said, this is a situation. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he wants to speak to you and wants to ask you a few questions. So so she happily complied, came to the company of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then he asked her a question. He said, I'm going to ask you a few things. Tell the truth, wahi and revelation comes to me by Allah. I need you to be honest. What's the situation between you and al qama She said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I have no complaints about his salah. I have no complaints about his fasting. I have no complaints about his sadaqah. He spends and does so much, he doesn't even know how much or what he's spending, he spends. I've got no etiraz on that, I have no complaints. But there is one thing. He obeys his wife over those things where he should be obeying me. This just this. He's obeying his wife over those things where he should be obeying me. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentions, Subhanallah, he mentions, Sakhatu ummihi hajaba lisanuhu an shahadati Allah ilaha illallah. The anger of the mother of, Al of Al-Qama has seized the tongue of him at this juncture, he could not even say the kalima. So he says to the Sahaba who are present, go fetch me a large amount of wood. A large amount of wood, we're gonna burn him now. So then she says, O oh, Prophet of Allah, Ibni wa thamaratu fu'adi, my, my heart, my soul, my beloved son, you want to burn him in front of my eyes? He said, well, it's better for me to burn him now and for Allah to forgive him than for him to go into the akhirah where the, the fire is so intense. She says, she ponders for a bit and she says, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I have overlooked all the bad which he has done. I have forgiven him today for the sake of Allah. I am happy with him now. The Prophet said to Bilal, now go and see. Qassam by Allah, when he was walking towards the house, he heard him say, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. He came back and gave the testimony to the Prophet that Alhamdulillah, his safety has been guaranteed. He has uttered his kalima. His mouth came on the utterance of the shahada. The Prophet ﷺ then gathered the Sahaba and said, let me tell you something and listen carefully. Those of you that affect your parents, you harm your parents, you offend your parents. May the curse of Allah be on such an individual. Subhanallah. And he mentions that person, not even his fard salah, not even his nafal salah would be accepted in the court of Allah. Very stern words from the Prophet ﷺ.